Hello folks and welcome along to the Howling Minds YouTube channel. Moving forward we're going to be posting an awful lot of highlights here from uh, our time on the stream. So if you're new to my content and you do like what you see, feel free to check the description below for links to the stream. I stream five times a week. Uh, not Monday, not Friday, but available every other time at 9pm BST. Um, so hopefully we'll see some of you joining me for some content over there. Uh, today's video is the first of hopefully many as we uh, cover some highlights of the historic challenge on MTG Arena. Uh, for those that might not be familiar with that, it's an event where you can win yourself a chunk of booster packs for uh, 2,000 gem entry uh, and test your metal against some of the best historic decks on the format. We were using this as some playtesting for the upcoming Zendikar Rising Mythic Championship Qualifier and uh, we picked up Sultai Midrange to give a spin for this one to a reasonable amount of success. So hopefully you enjoy. Uh, let me know what you think and hopefully I'll see you again on the stream or in the uh, YouTube comments sometime soon. Enjoy. Okie dokie then. So, very much uh, a stock Soul Tire list here. Nothing particularly special to write home about, but in case you aren't familiar with how the deck works, we'll run you through it. Uh, you're basically a, a slightly ramp-based mid-range shell, playing some of the highlighted power level cards uh, in Historic. That includes things like Thoughtseize, possibly the best card in the format. Uh, powerful discard, never bad really, even in uh, most aggressively slanted matchups. And Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. Plague in every format at the moment. Card is fantastic. Uh, really goes without saying at this point. Uh, we have to top this off with the top end. The very powerful ramp top end of Nissa, Oog, and Hydroid Crisis. Always something to do with our mana. Regardless of how much mana we have. Uh, pushing home threats really early. Be able to clear our opponent's board. Refuel long cards. That kind of thing. Uh, and we wrap this out with a little bit more acceleration. And just good black removal. In the form of Extinction Event, Heartless Act, Eliminate. Uh, and some more acceleration with stuff like Growth Spiral. So fairly, fairly self-explanatory list. Uh, Ramp-based mid-range shell. Just playing the best threats in the format. Uh, smacking people up walls with raw power level alone. Uh, mana base for this list is, is interesting, but I do like it. Uh, it's playing the four Fable Passage. Something you don't necessarily see all the time uh, in Historic. Uh, I like it. I think people are underplaying Fable Passage at the moment. Uh, mainly because of how well it plays with Uro. Uh, they're favouring all their check lands and cycle lands instead. And there's definitely an argument to that. We still have the, the one copy of Fate Pools tucked away in here. But uh, I like the four Fable Passage. It seems, seems pretty good to me. Uh, sideboard of this list I really like. Uh, it's definitely a little on the spicier side. But I definitely think it looks pretty clean. Uh, we're packing this little Negate Narset package for the matchups in which those are going to be good at. An awful awful lot of those. Uh, four Negates, three Narsets. Uh, selection of Sweepers for Goblins and the like in the form of Cry of the Canarium. And which is Vengeance specifically for Goblins. And then we finish it out with some more cheap removal, aggro matchups, the Bobble, uh, Borg, blah, 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 blah. the Boggles deck, that kind of thing with Innocent Blood, uh, Scavenging Ooze, most of your Uro matchups, your graveyard based decks, and some Elder Gargaroths, which help shore up the aggro matchups as well. So again, deck available at any time, courtesy of Stream Decker. Looks pretty stock. Uh, looking forward to giving this one a spin as we haven't played this historic challenge yet. So we're going to hop on in and see how far we can get. So, 2,000 gems to play this event. As you can see, basically wipes us out to do it. So let's hope that we don't uh, don't fudge this one up, shall we? Let's uh, select Saltai, get our, get our playtest head on, and see what we can do. Off we go. Try and do some winning. It's been a rough couple of days, so a bit of a bit of winning would be nice. I would like that. Uh, okay, uh, hand is kind of fruity, but in the dark, I think this is fine. Turn four Nissa is almost certainly assured. Uh, hand plays pretty well against Thoughtseize. Uh, this is going to be a little soft, uh, specifically against aggro decks. Uh, we might be a little soft against something like goblins as well, but I don't think we're ever supposed to mulligan this. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna lead on Fable Passage so I can crack myself a forest out of my deck to cast this Growth Spiral and be well on our way. Uh, opponent looks like they might be Elves, which we should be reasonably positioned against, but this hand is pretty bad against Elves. We're gonna need to draw like an Extinction Event uh, or something similar to really, really kind of spin the wheels. Uh, Uro is not a bad pickup. will hopefully accelerate us reasonably fast too. Uh, Ugin also fantastic against Elves, so... Sylvan Ranger. Okay, this is that's kind of fine. That could have been 
a lot more impactful. So we're more than happy to see a Sylvan Ranger putting a land into our opponent's hand. This is an elf, which uh, kind of confirms my suspicions with this Allosaurus Rider. Let us growth spiral here. Drawing an Ugin is nice. We, uh, we do need to get to it, but it is definitely nice. Let's cast this Uro. Okay, that's not bad either. So let's put this, this Overgrown Tomb into play tapped. Use Fable Passage to fetch ourselves a Swamp. And, uh, and Thought sees our opponent. Let's see what's up on the other side of the table. Now the Shepherd, Dwinan's Elite, Visionary, Vivian. So nothing particularly stopping us from doing our thing. Uh, the most problematic permanent for me, for me here looks to be this Vivian, even though my opponent is some ways away from it. It's the good follow-up once the Ugin uh, clears the board, which is what we're hoping happens. So I think I'm going to be taking this and getting rid of it. Looking to spend next turn casting Nyssa, uh, and then hopefully using Nyssa to accelerate us uh, into Eugene. Opponent, unsurprisingly, dumps some more of their hand. We'll draw land number six. Cast Anissa. We're going to animate a swamp here, mainly because we uh, don't want to risk losing our forests, as that, uh, that would be problematic. Kind of need those to, uh, to cast the big spirit dragon. Clan caller. If opponent continues to dump their hand out here, I, I don't see how they recover from this. Uh, yeah, this this should be just good night, sweet prince. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Shink. Minus two will do the job. Yep. Ugin the spirit dragon doing what it is designed to do, cleaning up battlefields and ruining people's day. All right, so uh, I like Cry of the Canarium, which is Vengeance, and Elder Gargaroth in this matchup. All of those seem pretty good, if you ask me. Uh, I think Maelstrom Pulse is actually pretty reasonable here as well. Uh, I think some of the spot removal is probably its worst in a matchup like this. Hey, Barman, how you doing, man? Hopefully things are okay with you. Um, I don't mind trimming on Nissa when you're bringing in Gargaroth. That seems that seems fine to me. Uh, it's possible, possible you meant to trim Krasis as well. Uh, but I, I do always like slaving away some of the uh, the spot removal when you're bringing in the sweepers. Tries to make your draws a little bit more cohesive. So I think I'm going to do that and see see how that one feels. Whew. Reasonable start. Unsurprisingly, Ugin the Spirit Dragon. A bit of a messed up magic card, really. Not Not broken or anything, but very, very good at what it does. Uh, I think I can keep this. This is just turn three extinction event a lot of the time, which should be good against elves. Lanawat elf to lead for OP. We're going to lead on Zagoth Triome. Thorn Lieutenant. Okay. Opponent's got some interesting uh, two drops. Uh, I've definitely been very happy to not be seeing, like, uh, Steel Leaf Champion and stuff like that, as much as it actually would have been better for us in this spot. Uh, that was definitely what we were more worried about. All right, so this probably ends up being an extinction event on odds, leaving the Thorn Lieutenant alive. Uh, because the Arch Druid is definitely more dangerous, and we get two creatures for our Sweeper this way, so seems seems like the better option. Point up with a Clan Caller, it's not bad. And a Shepherd. All right, so they've still got plenty of gas in the tank. Really could do with drawing another sweeper. We do not. Let's go row and see what see what follows. Looking a little dodgy here. Uh, we do do get to pull a row back next turn if we want to, but we are still definitely in a bit of a bit of a shaky spot. Uh, opponent is just shy of mana for this clan caller at the minute. Ah, Cry of the Canarium is going to be a good one if nothing changes. Um, we just have to wait and see how this plays out. Opponent looks like they are uh, on empty. Ah, no, Sylvan Ranger, basically empty. So Cry of the Canarium is going to be pretty good here. Going to leave the Thorn Lieutenant alive, which is six mana to activate this. So opponent can activate this next turn and get in for six. 
which is is not nothing, but we are still definitely doing this. So, cry and bring back a row. Just doing very very powerful things. Drawing in this or in the process seems pretty good if you ask me. <laughs> Opponent plays the land attacks. This thing becomes a 6-7. So if we do block it, we lose the euro. Pretty sure I am fine not doing that. Opponent just gasses in and hits us. Seems fine. Right. Crunch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Jink. Opponent is uh, very, very dead. A, a very large level of dead. Clean start. Exactly where we want to be. Deck showing you exactly why it's one of the best decks in the format. Just uh, casting its spells and making other people sad. So, good, good start. Good start indeed. Let's keep that up. We are indeed, Barman, yes. We uh, have to start playing some serious decks now to uh, to get ready for this this Invitational Qualifier. So I thought, hey, why not up the stakes a little? Play a challenge. And uh, it makes me think and, and play properly a bit because Lord knows I need the distraction. Um, this hand is really kind of cock-awkward. Opponents on Kahira the Orphan Guard, which makes me think this is almost certainly Blue, White, or Esper Control. And if that's the case, this hand is kind of poor. Uh, Thorsus is lovely, but we can't turn to the spiral. We can't guarantee the euro. And this pulse is probably fairly blank for quite a while. So I think I'm going to take a six in this scenario. This six is absolutely god miserable, but it is a keep. Um, pretty sure I want to bin off one of these forests and call it good. Does indeed look like blue-white control. Uh, am I particularly worried about search for a scanter, I guess is the question, because I should thought seize on one if I am. If I'm not, I should probably wait. I am going to say they play like one most of the time, and I'm not massively scared of it, so I think I'm going to wait, try and try and use thought seize to push through Anissa, or at least push through something. Uh, unsurprisingly, our deck is full of uh, removal and gunk. Uh, in game one, so game one here going to be slightly hard if we draw too many of these Heartless Act Eliminate style effects. Opponent cycles are cast out. And misses their land drop. Okie dokie. That is both good and terrifying. I guess there's less of a chance I cycle this now. I think I would still rather wait on these thought seizers. Opponent's hand is going to be Chocker, uh, and they're going to be cycling away towards lands here anyway, so why not give them the opportunity for just tap out for Nasa or something, uh, and then we can resolve Anissa if they do. They, they appear to be bricking off again, which is really unfortunate for them. They do discard themselves. That's a fairy. I'm going to fire off these thought seizers now, try and clear the way for Nissa. Uh, who shakes the world. There is two counter spells that deal with her, so we, we do get to do that. We get to take this Absorb, and we get to take this Disdainful Stroke. Leave my opponent with a pile of removal and an Essence Scatter, and hopefully we can just resolve this Nissa and call this game done. Opponent draws another cast out to cycle. Bricks off on their land again. They are not having a good time. We'll, uh, we'll cast this Nissa. Earns the concession. All right. Feel sorry for opponent, but that's that's roughly how we drew it up. Uh, sideboard plan in this matchup is all of these negates. 
all of these now sets and I, I kind of like scavenging news it might be going in uh, based on what I think is going on we definitely want extinction event out and heartless act out and I think I just trim and eliminate trim and eliminate and leave leave the ooze in the board I think my opponent looked like blue white and if they're blue white I would rather leave screws in the board if they turn out to be bant I would rather have screws in my deck uh, so until then, I'm going to leave these in to deal with Narset and, and similar, and, and call this good. Maelstrom Pulse being my only hard answer to Teferi Hero of Dominaria is, is mildly concerning, but probably not the end of the world. This hand is pretty gank. Like, it needs a lot of help. I'm pretty sure you smell this one. Uh, this is better. Definitely going to keep this. Um, and I think I'm pretty happy just to bin off a land uh, in this spot. So, seems seems fine. Uro is a reasonable pickup. Opponent not missing his lands this time. Am I scared of Narset in this spot? Um, not massively because I have the eliminate, but I would like to be able to eliminate and still Uro next turn. So I think I'm going to play the untapped land anyway to give myself the option of of negate and or eliminate this turn. Opponent cycles a center, seems fine. Shocks and passes the turn. Right. Well, I guess this is going to be a draw go, uh, fiesta, fiesta, I should say. In which case, let's just keep keep our patience, not tap out for this Uro, and get ourselves absorbed and punished. Scavenger Grounds is a pretty good one. I like that. It's nice. Another land for us is also quite nice. Again, no need to rush here. Can just be patient. Try and force through a threat. Look for a Thought Seize. Extra piece of cow magic. It slams a Narset. That is fine. In response to the minus, I would like to eliminate it and see what my opponent does. Let's it go. They find Dovin's Veto. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. I think I'm going to shock here. Uh, do I force this Veto out of my opponent's hand is the question. I can cast Narset and do that and still leave myself within a gate, uh, which I kind of like. But Uro is also fine. Yeah, I think I think I'd prefer the Uro here. Seems seems fine. I can force this veto at any point, and alternatively, if I draw like a Thought Seize or something, it's going to be okay. So I think I prefer this over Narseti. Okay, backup Narset makes this turn pretty easy, I think. Again, would like to force force the veto out of my opponent's hand. We do get it. Pretty sure I can't extend again though, as I risk risk getting punked out by Teferi Hero of Dominaria if I do that. So it's just a case of hold this negate again. Be patient, try and resolve a threat. Opponent might have another veto here. If they do, that is unfortunate, but I do get to resolve my Nissa, hopefully, if that's the case. They do have another veto. Okie dokie. So hopefully that's that's the veto's gone and our opponent's two lands can't stop Nissa from resolving. That would be ideal. Crassus is a good one. Happy to draw that. That the same for stroke might very well be game ending. But I don't we we would do uh, words. We did our best to pick a hole. I'm not entirely sure we could uh pick a better hole. So I think that's fine. Opponent putting Kahira in their hand is probably fine for us. I guess they get untapped two of the lands anyway, so it's basically free. But five cards in the bin right now. 
So I guess I lead on Narset here, because if the Narset gets countered, then I can Uro. In an ideal world, I'd like this Narset in play, because it does hold to Fairy at bay, uh, who is currently running away with this game. Opponent burns the scavenger grounds to get rid of Uro, which I think makes a lot of sense, depending on the rest of their hand, that's fine. They do have the absorb as well. Well 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 navigated by opponent. This one is is starting to feel like like garbage time. We'll take uh, take another draw step, see if Krasis can help bail us out of it. But our opponent's drawing two cards a turn and starting to just landslide us this game so we are definitely behind that uh, that might just be game ending because uh nasa is going to stop this crassus from getting us back into the game love to hit a negate or an eliminate here if we're allowed the uh the luxury to try we do not i think i'm going to cycle that away Bit late on the thought seas, unfortunately. I think if the draw step, yeah, okay. With the veto being there, this is gonna be really hard. If the draw step answers the Narset, I'll probably carry on. But otherwise, I think we just take game three as we are a million miles behind there. So let's try and try and take game three in this one. Get ourselves to 2-0. Um, I think I actually want to switch one of these Ugans for the Scoos. I know the Scoos is worse in this matchup, but opponent seems to not be respecting us with too much removal. Uh, and I think I just want another creature that can pressure Planeswalkers, and especially uh, especially Teferi. So I'm going to switch them over and see see how that feels. That might just be wrong, but uh, I get the impression I need to be able to, to control the board here, as, uh, as I am technically the aggressive deck in the matchup. So let's play first. Uh, hand is fine, if not a little unexciting. I'm uh, gonna, gonna lead on the Triome here. If we're cycling a land, it's Fetty Pools because it is cheaper to cycle. Uh, obviously, with our hand the way that it is, that is entirely possible. So, I'm gonna play this Swamp with the intention of cycling the Pools away. We really don't want to get censored here, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to cast this Uro. That is a lot. A lot of, uh, lot of lands. Does that change the fact, though? Maybe I'm now supposed to shock so that I can spiral plus negate, potentially. I think that might be better than casting Uro into censor. Yep. Opponent does shock. Smells like an absorb. That is in fact another land. Not quite what we were looking for. Wow, this is... That's a lot of mana. That's in fact a lot of mana. Yeah, gotta let this dispute happen. I'm looking for land number four, it would seem. Certainly no issue there for them. Let's thin our deck a smidgen. As we would really like to draw some spells. It is not a spell. Well, we're definitely not missing land drops, but unfortunately neither is our opponent, even though they uh, are playing in a way that might be indicative of it. I think 
based on our hand and based on our draw steps, I've got to try and force through this Nissa. Uh, why my opponent is low on mana. Yeah, don't have him. Don't have a negate or a veto, I guess. I guess if you have a veto, you'd have fired it off already, so, yeah. Got to uh, animate a triome here, or the, at least a breeding pool to represent two mana counter spells. Baffling End is fine. We can we can live with that. Let's float, float negate mana. Okay, opponent is not missing the land drops, which it looked like they were gonna be. Uh, based on their aggressive cycling earlier on. Uh, this, this kind of surprises me because cycling both these cast outs has left my opponent really soft in Nissa. And if they didn't need to do that for lands, I'm, I'm really surprised. Uh, Tower Hero of Dominaria is pretty good. It's going to resolve. Opponent goes with drawing a card. That's terrifying. Definitely expected Nissa to be getting tucked there. Oh. Well, I'm not entirely sure what happened. But we take those? I guess we take those. Feels like that was a bit of a gift, to be honest. Two and zero. Let's keep it up. See if Saltai can uh, put up a decent result for us. I would like to play first. Thank you for asking. This hand's kind of wonky. Um, I think it's fine. But it definitely is going to have some some holes where matchups where it's not very good. I uh, don't think you're ever going to mull it in the dark, though. Not in game one. So, sure. Opponent's taking the mulligan. Okie dokie. They're going to lead on the Overgrown Tomb here, but uh, it's possible I should just be leading on Fable Passage. Opponent with the Thought Seize. Gets to see what's up. Takes Nissa who shakes the world. Okay. Well, don't need to play Fable Passage now because we did draw land number four. Crisis. Okay. So not sure what my opponent's up to just yet, but I am going to cast this a row fairly happily. Would love to draw a thought seize here, obviously, but uh, no such luck. Ah, opponent is also soul tie. Okay, sure. So mirror match it is. So this will be the first mirror that I've played, so it'll be interesting to try and figure out what's important and what isn't, because uh, I can't say I currently know. And this is fine. I'd rather not uh, burn the crisis if I can help it, but maybe that's wrong, because like Thoughties is a card. Maybe I'm supposed to respect, respect this card and just cast a, a reasonable crisis early if I can. Seems, seems wrong. Be interesting to see. I imagine if my opponent had another thought sees, uh, it would have been fired off after the Euro, so it makes makes a fair bit of sense they don't. Another Titan, sure. Oh, 
Well, there's the thoughts of these. Whether they drew it or not is difficult to know. But sure. What would you like? Eugene goes in the garbage, somewhat unsurprisingly. Okay, this is getting tougher now. Um, opponent is one card away from their owner row. We're technically one card away from ours as well. I can bring it back this turn if I cycle the fettered pools, but it means I risk my I risk missing my land drop. Alternatively, I can just Grove Spiral, try and hit another land and pull it back, or I can just Kratos. Um, I think there's a good chance missing my land drop is okay, and being the one to have a row in play first is probably worth quite a bit. So I'm gonna. Going to spiral and see where we end up. Because uh, blue land, like that. Perfect. Taking the line and getting paid off for it feels feels pretty nice. Let's, uh, let's get our into play. And hope that our opponent's turn isn't like heartless act or eliminate into their own Uro. Because that would be a little bit sticky. They have a Nissa. Nissa is reasonable. If they've got no way of saving this land, though, why are you attacking, my dude? Oh, you've got a Heartless Act? You must have a Heartless Act. Or an Eliminate, or, you know, two mana removal. Yeah. Okay. Well, that is not good. It's arguably worse than the Euro, because we don't have a clean answer to this. Uh, so, I, I guess this is just Crisis 4. It's big enough to uh, to challenge the 3-3s. Three Finds me Maelstrom Pulse, that might help. I feel like Nissa probably is one of the pivot cards in the mirror, almost certainly. Uh, but having never played it, I don't know that for a fact. Uh, my opponent aggressively took mine with their Thoughtseize earlier on. Uh, and the fact that I'm struggling to handle it would make me think that it, it and Ugin are probably probably very important. It's prob probably fair to assume. It's got all the mana in the world, but we are the one with more cards. Uh, I guess we're probably staring down Uro this turn the majority of the time. Uh, opponent actually only has two forests. Ritual of Soot. Okay. Main, main deck ritual is interesting. Uh, this is not Andrea Mangucci's list. No, this is a list from the MTGA Zone Open uh, yesterday, put on by those guys. Uh, finished fourth, I want to say. Let me go and check for you real quick, because otherwise I might be uh, quoting myself incorrectly. Yeah, 139 players for the uh, the Open yesterday. And this is the list that finished second, I lie. It finished 8-2 and two in the hands of a gentleman named Christopher Alvaro. Uh, and that's the list, the list that we picked up. All right, so we're we're definitely pulsing the Nissa. There's no question about that. Um, my only concern is that if I heartless act this land, I leave myself without an answer to. To Uro, except for my own Uro. Um, I think I can afford to wait, so I'm going to. 
Oh, that's interesting. I'm probably cycling that. I'm going to regret this, of course, if my opponent has another Nissa. Uh, I'm going to wish that I killed the land, but I think I think this is fine in general. Tap land go seems fantastic for us. Cycle this triome. Fable passage. Okay, well, a few more lands than we would like, but we're, we're definitely in the, the better position here, I think. Gonna get a forest in case we draw an Issa of our own. That is in fact another land, which is, is less than ideal. But it does seem like my opponent is on empty. Doesn't seem like they have very much going on, except for the Euros in the bin, so this might be good enough. Ah, another eliminate. Okay. Probably not good enough. Okay. Well, that that helps a little. I think we can still afford to wait on this land. We're not not playing around anything by heartless acting it now. Uh, another Uro. Okay, might be able to convince our opponent to delve away, well not delve away, but uh, escape away better cards if we leave this alive for now. So, seems seems fine. They are a green short, it would appear. Um, so this is definitely coming back next turn now. I think this hit is still fine. I'd rather play around getting thought seized. For a scanter is pretty reasonable. It's going to help smooth our draw steps, hopefully. But I think think this is better than heartless acting an island aggressively and getting ourselves thought seized and not being able to kill the euro. So that one is going to be an issue. Going to be an issue. Okay, I think I'm killing this now. Another Uro. Yeah, it's probably fine. It's better than a blank, I think. Guess I need Maelstrom Pulse pretty bad. Like, Maelstrom Pulse is what I'm looking for. Chuck that away. Yep. Okay, so we get to get to flip this Escanta if we've been a card. So if it's not if it's not Maelstrom Pulse or an answer to Ugin that I'm forgetting about, it's going straight in the garbage. Uh, that is not an answer to Ugin. Transform. That is not Maelstrom Pulse. Let's look for it again. That is also unfortunately not a Maelstrom Pulse. Okay. Get one more look at it, I guess. No dice. Um, this is probably fine to fire off, but pretty sure we're dead to this Ugin ult, unfortunately. So let's uh, make our opponent do it and see whether they somehow draw seven lands or something silly like that. 
You never know, I guess. Okay, that's just Narset, right? Narset and, some, and, a, and a chunk of lands. Uh, Thought Seize is my extinction event, sure. Okay. Finds Grope Spiral. Does unfortunately kill the row. So I'll take a draw step here, uh, but I imagine. I imagine there is, outside of our own Ugin, there is very little to save us. We do have two of them, in fairness, in 27 cards, so. Oh no, one of them, one of them, one is gone. So there is, is an Ugin left, so not completely done and dusted. That, however, is not an Ugin. I think I might have one more draw step in me. Uh, I guess I should have main phase discanted, but I forgot it was here, to be brutally honest with you. My bad. I just did forget about my escanter. Okay, again, we have one more Rugen in our deck that could definitely get us back into this, so. Let's keep keep a, a head up until. Yeah, Thought Seize is irrelevant. Nissa is actually surprisingly relevant because it means that if I minus an Ugin, it will die. Nissa of our own. So that's a scanter. I guess I've got to take the thing that kills the, the blocker, right? And <laughs> um, we, okay, we get, we get punished by main deck assassin's trophy, which I gotta be honest, was not something I was playing around. Uh, but we were, we were far enough behind. That was probably going to be a bit of a, bit of a difficult one anyway. So, Nagate, Narseti, and Scavenging Ooze all seem pretty good to me. I don't think I want Gargaroth. Seems, seems pretty bad. Ass ass bin trophy. Yes, correct. Uh, but no, I was was not expecting Assassin's Trophy. Um, okay, so how do we board out is the question. I'm pretty sure Extinction Event sucks nuts, and I'm probably just supposed to get rid of it. Um, other than that, I am a little unsure. I imagine there's a chance my opponent has like Ether Gusts and Negates of their own, so Nissa gets a little worse. Maybe it's also Ugin that gets a little worse. I would love for God Eternal Kefnet to be good Hydra, honestly. Uh, I think the card's really sweet. I really enjoy playing with it. So, definitely wish it was uh, a bit more profitable in this shell. But unfortunately, it just kind of falls. Falls behind Uro, Nissa, and the other ridiculous green haymakers. I think I just want to trim down on removal here. I, th I think, in general, Heartless Act is better than Eliminate, right? Um... No, I, 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 like Uro is the consideration for that, right? So you can eliminate Narset. You can't eliminate. You can't heartless act to Narset. You could kill both with, uh, with both. Yeah, I think a heartless act is worse then because, because of that. So we'll keep, we'll keep the heartless acts. Uh, the eliminates not the heartless acts. My God, black cards are uh, so similar. Anyway. Oh man. I hate these kind of hands. And the reason for that is because mulliganing is so bad in against the Thoughtseize matchups. Like, you really don't want to. 
And I think given that this is a reasonable spell and a triome, which is probably a spell, I'm probably just supposed to keep it. Which is horrifying. Okay, well this is meant to be a learning curve for the Mythic Invitational Qualifier anyway, so I guess if we're trying to learn in a serious environment, we should keep this and find out whether that is truly awful or not. So, let's, let's find out. Tap land for the opponent is nice at least. Uh, it means that we can uh, effectively fight Thoughtseize with Negate. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I think it's up this upcoming weekend, Taiku, so that sounds correct to me. Uh, I can't remember the exact dates, but it's I think it's the second week of the month, so should be should be about then. I don't think there's much I'm playing around here. I think just getting this Narset into play is pretty valuable. So next week, yeah, it's uh, it sounded about right. Yeah, it's two days. Um, I am working one of them, but we'll figure something out. If I can get myself signed into it, I should be able to at least play the games after work, which is fine. I will stream them, but I, th I think I have to do it on a slight delay uh, based on the rules, but I'll check it out before I, before I stream it. But it, it will be made as content. You will be able to watch uh, us play that qualifier. Should be should be pretty sick. Yeah, I think I have to have a delay. I'm like 99% sure that I do, but I want to uh, want to double check before I confirm or deny anything. Uh, we already have two blue here, so I am gonna cast Search for a Scanter. Do apologize, I have to keep blowing my nose, guys. My allergies have been a nightmare all day. Uh, Uro is fine. I really like the one-off search for a scanter. I think this is really nice. Uh, I've been very impressed by it so far. Oh, I meant to grow spiral there. That was that was not intentional. May have clicked through that by accident. Well, I'm I'm hoping I don't get punished for it. Uh, yes, every format is Euro Piles. Why would you play anything else? That was bad. I meant to grow Spiral and to turn that, and I did not. <laughs> so now I can't negate this Nissa, which is a really big deal. That was a pretty bad misclick on my part. I think a lot of us would like Uro to be gone uh, from the game in general. Just, you know, overall. Yeah, not growth spiraling here is really going to punish me, isn't it? I'm pretty, pretty sure I'm about to get uh, my lands killed. Which is uh, not ideal. Anyone want to buy some Uros? No. Thanks for asking, though. Does not much help. Right, well, we're going to try and take our opponent's Nissa off the table, and they are almost certainly going to block, and then Heartless are no, no block, no block, just going to let Nissa die. That seems kind of bad. Alright, well, off you go. What's he is kind of using bands as the new form of rotation? I'm not so sure about that. I think, honestly, standard and other formats have kind of suffered from a compound fracture of design mistakes. So stuff like, you know, Oko was definitely a mistake. That makes sense, I guess. I, I don't want this to resolve, so no. Um, Oko was obviously not the big one, but there's definitely a few others. 
Um, and because cards they tested seemed fine uh, with those cards in the format, they printed them and they were also not fine once those cards were removed from the format. So making one mistake tends to lead to more and more mistake. There has been a number of egregious errors. That is a very good one. I would like to keep that where it is, please. Thank you. How much mana do I have? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 10. Was that Hydro Crisis good, chat? I think it was good. I'm definitely hopeful that we return to a more reasonable power level moving forward. Uh, Zendikar seems to be okay looking at first glance. Uh, so, colour me hopeful. As much as I maybe shouldn't be. Uh, I don't see how we lose from here now. This should be a pretty, pretty cakewalky game, I hope. It should be very hard to lose. One is also free, right? Yeah. Should be fine. What's non-standard cards are actually in this deck? Well, given that it's not my list, you'll have to give me a second to check as we did pick it up to play in this challenge from an event that was played yesterday. But to answer your question, Search for a Scanter, Maelstrom Pulse, Thoughtseize, Drowned Catacomb, Fetid Pools, Innocent Blood. Yeah, minor upgrades. And also Thoughtseize, which is probably a bit better than a minor upgrade. Good evening, sir. How you doing? Uh, I don't think I was ever countering a growth spiral. Um... But I might have been on autopilot given how far ahead we were. No. If, well, if I, if I did negate a growth spiral, I did not intend to. I completely agree that you don't do that. Um, so either I, I didn't do that, but uh, or if I did, I was just on autopilot one way or the other. How are you today, sir? Hopefully everything's okay with you. Doesn't say anything about stream delay. That's good to know. Uh, I'm going to go over it all just to make sure I don't do anything wrong, but I'll probably keep myself uh, safe as best I can. Opponent's sideboarding here, taking their time to figure stuff out. Makes sense. We are in game three in the old 3-0, well, 2-0 currently heading towards 3-0 bracket of the historic challenge. So hopefully we can uh, keep that up. Pretty sure we are... Not mulling this against the Thoughtseize deck. We probably need, end up needing to get an island off of the, the Fable Passage, but this is, this is almost certainly a keep uh, against the Thoughtseize Mirror. There's a chance I want to Narset on three, so I'm going to play the Fable Passage on turn one.
It's trying to click through my end step this time. Because, uh, you know. Disallowed from sniping, but good luck catching someone, obviously. Uh, yeah, I, I obviously can't confer with chat for lines of play. That's been pretty well covered at this point. Um, so, emo only mode is probably something that I do. Um, but I just want to make sure if I need to have a delay that I do, if I don't need to have a delay that I don't, so on and so forth. I um, think I'm fine just running this scavenging ooze out here, honestly. If it, if it gets eliminated or heartless act, I actually think that's a win for me. Uh, Assassin's Trophy is even more of a win for me. Absolutely. Please and thank you. Deal. Yeah, it's just about being safe, obviously, and making sure that we don't do anything we're not supposed to do in high-stakes tournaments. But I obviously want to provide good content for you guys anyway. Uh, it, will, it will get uploaded to the YouTube after uh, after it's all done, said and done. I'll edit day one and day two together if we make it. Um, and then we'll be able to, to kajig it from there. So what emotes are code for what? Yeah, that's not going to be happening, my dude. Short delay seems reasonable, exactly. Um, you know, we'll we'll give it some thought. Uh, but I definitely want to know if it's something I have to do. Um, as I say, an edited together version of however far we get will be on the YouTube channel anyway. So if you're not a fan of watching with delay or watching with emote only or whatever, you'll be able to, uh, to go watch it there. The gate seems fine here. Opponent brought in Gargaroth. That's interesting. I'm a little surprised by that. I guess the fact I don't have Heartless Act in my deck anymore is a, is a real problem if that's the case. I'm gonna lead on Thoughtseize here and then inform my decision moving forward after that because I kind of need to find Mails from Pulse. So always the Nissa here. Do I care about countering a scanter? I think I can allow myself to counter a scanner and still make my way towards pulse. That is unfortunate but we are basically in a position where if we can handle this Gargaroth we're going to be fine it's just the, the handling the Gargaroth part opponent does kill Narset makes it 3-3 three, three. makes sense interesting to see this brought in I don't know whether that's something I'm supposed to be doing The Euro is actually very good here as well for my opponent. Yeah, Negate lets me put the sixth card in the bin for my own Euro. Nissa. So if I go leave. Breeding pool untapped. Can't leave myself with two blue and two green, right? I can. Well, I can like leave. No, I can. I can leave breeding pool untapped and untap as a goth triome. Go Burris for when I'm winning. I like it. Sounds good. Uh, 
Stop it. Don't actually joke about stuff because it looks suspicious if something uh, something goes out. DMTR says some players may choose to broadcast their matches when playing online. Players are permitted to do so, but it is recommended they broadcast on a two-minute delay at minimum. All right, that, that's good to know. That eliminate off this NAR set was absolutely gargantuan. That's a huge deal. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> I get it, because Gargaroth. Yeah, funny. Alright, I have to nash it here. Maelstrom Pulse is huge. Absolutely huge. Three cards currently. So if we play this and intend on cycling the Triome, that seems good. Ah! <laughs> Why? Ah! Opponent! <laughs> Stop! You piece of shit! <laughs> can we both stop drawing haymakers, please? Like, can one of us just miss for like one turn and just end this game on the spot? Because. Right now, it is like swinging like a pendulum, and I'm not okay with it. <laughs> Thanks. Thought sees does go burr. Factually accurate statement. All right. Denying the card draw off of uh, off of a row there is quite nice. You love to see it. I am going to block here as I'd like Narset to be alive. And I'll cycle. Information. No! No. I would like that Casualties of War to not be there. Thank you. No, 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 no. No, we were fine. Drawing the gate with no blue mana up is a bit depressing. really like one of us to just brick for a turn like just one one turn would be dope hmm Yeah, the cinematic's pretty pretty gank. You're not wrong. I think that Ugin was pretty good. Still, it feels like it was wasn't a bad draw. All right, this game's like as good as over now, right? Yeah, this should this should be locked up. We should be three and zero right now. Mm. 
Many bad plays happened. I do not know what you're talking about. This game was actually really fun to play. Both players drew a lot of haymakers, and that makes for interesting magic games. So, uh, do not tap myself out of blue. That would be dumb. That is how you lose. We didn't have to block the island, right? Opponent jumped with it. I think Maelstrom Pulse is the better card, to be honest. It's it's just better at handling problematic permanents. Cleans up tokens pretty well as well. As I say, again, I can't take the credit for this list. It isn't mine. Uh, it is playing very well so far, and the list that we picked up uh, just had Maelstrom Pulses in it. So... Definitely not gonna gonna go making changes just yet. Give me two seconds, folks, just to update the details of the stream uh, because I have to do that uh, every now and then, and then we'll get underway in round four. Is I need to go, this is why I've built the instant replay feature into the stream to be live very soon, because I do not remember choosing to not block the island, if that makes sense. Um, but, oh no, you're right, I just I just let, uh, I let Narset die, right, because they're both going at Narset, but I just get to block the island for free. Yeah, you're right, that was bad, that was bad. That is correct. That is a thing that I did. Don't do that. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I guess my brain was just on autopilot in the fact that Narset was dying anyway. Uh, and I didn't stop to think about eating the island for free. But yes, definitely correct. We are against a player. And by that, I mean their name is his player. Uh, and it's fine. We'll keep... Um, is there a chance I cycle this Sigoth Triome? Uh, there is a fairly reasonable chance, I think. So I'm going to play this Breeding Pool Tapped and say go. Player! Very glad that I did that, by the looks of it. Opponent, uh, blue-white control. It's going to be going to be a bit of a rough one. Mindstone. Another land is not ideal. How do I feel about the power level of removal versus that of threats and creatures? That's a really interesting question, honestly. Um, I think creatures have been getting slowly better and better for a very long time. Um, and removal is starting to head back in the right direction now. Um, it was very much the case for a while that the removal was much, much worse than the threats. But we are, we are definitely heading back the right way in that regard. Um, we're getting some, some better premium removal. Uh, I do think there are some threats that are a bit too good against the current re removal. Um, but I think the balance is better than it ever has been before. Um, I think I think Aim Conquest kind of locks it down pretty well there. Is that there's just a lot of stapling stuff to one dude. Um, the new sets bring in one new piece of removal that's pretty good. It's the, the one mana pseudo fatal push effect that you can trigger with landfall I think it is. I can't remember exactly the details, uh, but there is there is one good piece of removal, in at the very least there might be more, but uh, at the very least there is one good piece of removal in the new set. Yeah, I think that's a that's a fine way of looking at it. Is that the removal is now at a reasonable level, and we're actually getting removal that is good and is is defendable. The problem is the threats are not reasonable, which makes the removal look bad. I, th I think that's probably accurate.
Violent shocks. Don't see a, a reason to take the three. I guess I lose the ability to represent neutralize if I don't take the three ball. So I'm going to take the three ball. Rep neutralize. Opponent doesn't cast a spell. Try and kill the shark. And then growth spiral. It does feel like game one is going to be pretty hard for us against blue white. Uh, mainly off the back of the fact that uh, our sideboard is designed to help us in this matchup and we have piles of removal that is just dead game one. Um, drawing Maelstrom Pulse is interesting here. It makes me more inclined to Crassus. Uh, my rationale for that is because I'm less scared of Teferi because of the Maelstrom Pulse. But I guess... If I like Crassus, it gets countered now. My opponent lands to Fairy, ticks up, and has Dobin's veto. We look really stupid. Uh, the blue white lists don't tend to bring in too much in the form of uh, creatures. It's uh, a very similar cyborg package to us with some Wrath of Gods and alternative threats most of the time. I think because I'm not worried about. Uh, Discard here. I'm going to be patient with this crisis and try and get a little more out of it. See if I can find a Azorius control list that did well recently, just to get an idea. Uh, opponent misses the land drop. That is definitely concerning. Uh, Azorius control finished third yesterday. And their sideboard on the Kahira list, so no creatures in the main deck at all. No creatures in the sideboard, just piles of vetoes, resting pieces, timely reinforcements, mystical disputes. They've got an extra Narset. So, stuff like that, by the looks of it. There is a lot of two mana removal. The problem is that right now, two mana removal is, is very, very priced to move. And it's like good against the format in general. It just makes game one against a deck like this pretty bad. Uh, which is, is fine. You have to make that compromise, right? I think I'm firing off this Crassus. My hand is starting to do nothing. Uh, my opponent is missing land drops. I, I think think I need to just start forcing the issue. Um, so crisis for four is where I'm going to go. Gets excluded. That's a nice one. Haven't seen exclude seeing any play. That thought sees is a pretty big deal if it resolves. That is a lot of sweepers. I am better positioned to handle Narset than I am to fairies, so let's get that gone. All right, we're actually in better shape than I thought we were. Opponent has also drawn a fair amount of removal, so we might be okay. Narset finds neutralize. It's not a bad one for the opponent. Let's try and eliminate this Narset. If the opponent wants to fight over it, they can. They do not. Don't forget, folks, if you're joining me for the first time tonight, by the way, uh, we do currently have a giveaway going for just a couple more days now. It's nearly done. It was a month-long giveaway. Really not long. Um... So check it out, we are giving away a sealed booster box of mystery boosters to one lucky winner. You would be a fool to miss that, so go have a look, check it out. You're not sure what I was just saying, but it made Google on your phone very angry. I am sorry, that was not my intention. Okay, I'm going to start cracking these fable passages. I would really like to find the Uro. Uro is kind of one of my haymakers in this matchup. Uh, so, hopefully we can find one soon. 
That being said, if we can get through this neutralized, this Ugin might be okay as well. But plenty of ways to support the channel and me. Well worth checking out. I think I gotta try and get this gone. Opponent might might fight us on this one because search is kind of important to what they're doing right now. Yeah, let's see if we can see if we can cycle our way into something relevant. Not quite. Yeah, it's not so much about um about that. Raz like opponent has one cell wreckage we know about. And it'll go one way or the other in that we bring back the Euro and patiently wait while they consider Wrath of Golding it. We draw a Thought Seize and take it away. Or, in some circumstances, we'll attack, they'll settle, we'll kill our own Uro, and then the problem is removed. Uh, the actual problem right now is this Ascanta, because my opponent's going to be able to start gaining advantage while I am not. Uh, which is, is an issue. Finds an essence scatter. Sure. Okay. Well, opponent can't count with this, so I'm gonna cast it. They're gonna try and draw the counter spell off the mind stone if I was them. No, they're actually looking for a veto with a scanter. Interesting. Finds Shark Typhoon instead. Alright, well, tick up. Bolt you. Opponent is uh, going to be able to make some big old sharks. Big old sharks. Well, this is only going up right now because it can't do anything else. I guess I could charge Blast Zone to be able to get rid of this Ugin. That's something they could definitely do. Let's see if they cycle the Shark Typhoon in response to this. This game's been fun to navigate. I've actually been enjoying playing this one. Which is something I can't be saying for some of the games we were playing the other day. They do. They do make the 8-8 shark. We get to take Cell the Wreckage away. And then I get to cast an Uro. And Extinction Event the Shark away. And hopefully I just get to ultimate an Ugin next turn, which would be nice. Got to look for a cast out or something. Finds Teferi's Ageless Insight. Yes. That one is pretty good, in fairness is pretty good. That being said, ultimate. That was not great. One, two, three, four, five. Um, no, that's going to have to tap, so that's fine. Heartless Act. I think I'm still cycling these lands at this point. So. Okay. Well, it wasn't great. It wasn't the best of Ugin's ultimates, but we'll survive. Another Nissa. Okay.
So I cast Uro, it just gets it just gets uh, the Essence Scour out of my opponent's hand, but I guess I have to get through that anyway. Uh, alternatively, they might leave it there and even Wrath of God, uh, which I think is fine. So let's let's bring back one of these. We've got enough enough gunk in the bin to bring it back a few times. So I think that's that's okay. Okay. These games have definitely been a slog, that's for sure. Does eat a Wrath of God. I am okay with that. Uh, I am going to float two mana off this breeding pool, though, as I intend on cycling this Triome. And what was this on? Five. So it's going to pop the Nissa, sure. So let's cycle this now. Second Eugene. All right, well, start the sticking this one up again. Cast Nissa, who shakes the world. Drew a veto. Very nice. Very, very nice. Well, we'll force you to Wrath of God this, I suppose. That is frustrating. <laughs> okay. Definitely not safe yet. Definitely not safe. We're in good a good position. But this this one could definitely still slip away. Gotta be careful. Opponent drawing a lot of cards. Does wrath. has the Teferi. Ticks up, draws two, untaps two lands. All right, three. Pulse goes down like a sack of hammers. Nice up. Looks like there's no resistance here, which is probably going to make this good enough. Oh, what a game one! What a game one. Okay. Extinction of that, get out of my deck. Heartless Act, get out of my deck. Could keep Eliminate. Kind of want to shave one Ugin. I want four Negates. I want three Narsets. That's nice and clean, actually. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean... I think we decided that I'd rather have the Scoos over, over an Eliminate last time. So I think I'm going to do that again. Felt, felt pretty reasonable last time round. Scary that we were kind of close to losing a game that we altered altered an Ugin. Like, what? Um. This hand is kind of fruity. I think on the draw you can keep this. It's definitely going to suck when we miss land three though. Might assign my own death warrant on this one. If this gets censored, I might scream. Oh dear. Alright, that's that's fine. We we can actually live with that. 
opponent is aware that we are short on lands, though, because we did not put one into play off Grove Spiral. That is information they have. Okay. Oh. Ooh. I think I actually want this Shark Typhoon gone. And I'd like to spiral here and use the mana that I floated, but realistically I have to hold Negate up for this Ageless Insight. So, I will. Uh, that's a very good draw. That is a little unfortunate. Wow. Okay, well, we got in the gates for days, but uh, missing land drops. Opponent keeps it. Mine stone is fine. That one is less fine. Well, take a land, that's fine. Um, I guess I have to hope my opponent doesn't find a Teferi for one turn, because finding my land for Nyssa is super important here. So I think I'm gonna tap out for the Euro. Oh no. Please don't find Teferi here of Dominaria. That one is annoying, but more manageable at least. Finds Whirlwind Denial. You know that thing I said about manageable? I might have lied. That's pretty good. I think this is the bait spell. Yep. Put it with the flip to scanner, finds it's a fairy off the top. Cool, we'll try and take game three. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how that felt. Um, yeah, I think, think I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna run it back. Yeah, I'll keep this one. Not massively exciting, but definitely a keep. Step out for a scanner. Just slam that scanner. Do it. Do it. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. Um. Pretty sure I'm cycling this fair pools here. Opponent cycles themselves. Field of Ruin is surprisingly annoying for us. Like not not massively, but surprisingly annoying. Finding in the gate there is very good. Let's start casting spells then I guess. Ooh. 
negating this is like super valuable, right? My opponent can't really afford to punish me for doing so because if they tap out or tap low for something, they risk getting nissed. I think I'm just supposed to fight this, honestly. Like, even if he has a Nasa here, he just can't cast it because the punish is Nissa, and that's like game ending. Ah, Nissa resolves. That is surprising. Uh, not necessary. Nasa resolves. But they both start with N. All right. Well, now they know about the Nissa, but it's still pretty good, obviously. Makes a one-one shark. Sure. Gonna eat some graveyard here. Really, no reason not to. I think I am gonna uh, take this off the table. There's a lot of hits like negates and stuff that are like super valuable right now. I'd rather just take the growth spiral. Again, they can't cycle the shark here to block the scavenging ooze because the punish is Nissa and they know we have it. Hieroglyphic illuminations, sure. Cast this spiral my opponent's aware of. We failed to put a land into play, unfortunately. Let's clear out the graveyard. We'd really like to be finding another interactive spell or two here uh, to kind of back up some of these threats. I'm very scared to tap low. Um, without backup because of the threat of Teferi and uh, not well I guess maybe that's a reason to take the Maelstrom Pulse but I think there's a good chance with my opponent's hand the way that it is that if they have Teferi they will almost certainly have backup in the form of a Veto or similar so it's just about not letting it hit the table I think we start with the attack again the attack is fairly free I think I start on Narset. And I'm going to put full control on here. And the reason I'm going to put full control on here is because I need, I need to be able to fake thinking about this. Because I expected the Narset to not resolve. But I need to act like I have a response. And I need to act like I'm thinking about whether this is worth fighting over. Otherwise my opponent knows the way is clear for, uh, for the Teferi. Pretty sure that I don't cast Uro, which is the only other consideration. And just let this go, make it look like we have a negate again. 
kind of would like to seal away. Surprised to see that still in their deck, honestly, but it makes some amount of sense. I actually forgot to hold full control there. My opponent almost got me. They could have could have pushed through, given how quickly the Mindstone resolved. Negate is actually a fairly good draw. Gonna lead on this Uro. Finds another one, but uh, but no land. Okay. Happy to remain patient. Opponent makes a slightly bigger shark. Okay. There's going to be some pressure. We might have to respond to. So, so, Uro with negate back up. Illuminations in response is probably pretty good for me. Ether gust. I think this is fine. Just about being safe here. We're not dying to the sharks just yet. Pretty sure we have to be. Be patient. The illuminations is interesting to me though, because it makes it look like my opponent was running out of cow magic. But good players will also just cast illuminations there. To make it look like they're running out of counter magic. I'm never going to be able to Ugin plus negate. So I guess I make this fight here. Opponent will fight me back. And then hopefully we can resolve a threat at the very least into this Teferi. I do commit the negate. Alright. Untap land would be sweet. Assuming that my opponent does not have an absorb or a neutralize in their three cards. I don't think I'm playing around it. Feels Pepe, man. That one sucks. All right. Yeah, the sensor's a bit tilting, but... I think based on the information we gained from our opponent illuminating into Aethergust, um, I'm pretty sure they were light on counter magic, had to find something off the Tef for you to keep, keep themselves in the game. So I think I'm just supposed to slam it there. Uh, I think there's a good chance it gets through, and it's, it's probably just game winning if it does. So obviously, it might very well be game losing if it doesn't, but that's, that's how the bread is buttered sometimes, right? Yeah, getting censored on turn 10 obviously does does kind of bone. Like If I crash this for 6, I am alive. Might be my best shot. I 
found found a neutralize anyway if they didn't have one already. So drawing three lands not going to help. Might be taking a loss here, which is unfortunate, but we'll, uh, we'll live. Opponents' list is interesting. They played this game very well as well. Yeah, that's going to do it. Now, set memory preventing us from drawing any cards is uh, obviously very, very good. So, we'll bite the bullet. Fall to three and one in the challenge. It's unfortunate, but uh, hopefully that'll be the last loss for a while. All right, it's three and one. See if we can win round five. Decks felt very good, though, to be honest. As much as uh, I've had a couple of grievances here and there, this feels pretty smooth. I understand most of the card choices. What you're doing is obviously very powerful, so... Yeah, no, I can, I can rock it. I can definitely, definitely rock it. Straver. All right. I will play first. Put on Gigant of the Wellspring means this is either Sack or Mono Red. Uh, meaning I think this hand is fine, but unexciting. Don't think you're ever mulling it. Um, I do actually think I'm thought seizing on one here, regardless of the matchup. Is Sack. Okay. And it's Cat Sack as well. This hand is good for opponent. I think I'm just taking the witch's oven. Opponent does hit their third land on time. I'm obviously going to try and save these Heartless Axe for uh, the slightly more impressive creatures. Mainly the Woe Strider, because I want to be able to make sure I turn off um, Claim the Firstborn on our Crassus from being able to get rid of the Crassus. So we're going to kill this before the goat arrives. This is not bad if we can find another green source. If that's the case, I think I'm supposed to crisis for two, hoping to draw a land that's green, so that my following turn can be Nissa Heartless Act. I never want to make the crisis too big in this matchup anyway, so I think that's fine. It also just blocks the cat, which is something. Unfortunately, that is another Nissa, which is not, not quite what we asked for. Midnight Reaper is a good one as well. Ooh, that's not bad, Johnny. That's not bad. Devil, yep. It's becoming mildly problematic now. We need to find a green source for this Nissa pretty quick. Or we're going to start falling behind pretty, pretty vehemently. Opponent does draw a land. One card away currently from Woe Strider, puts Giganter in hand. That is a green source, that counts. 
the uh, Giganta is still a bit of a bit of a problem. Um, so we would like to find an answer to that as well. But not not a gargantuan problem. Claims my land. Yep. Wait, what? It's four. Oh, the claim claim is ca oh, okay. Claim is card five. That's that is annoying. But yes. Just to ignore this, so it makes sense because of the blood iced. I do like that. Seems seems reasonable. I think that is still worthwhile, even though it puts us closer to death. Good one, off the top for opponent. If I was to run a counter spell main board, what would I run? Um, honestly, I wouldn't hate some number of sensor. Uh, the problem with this list specifically is that you're not actually very heavy on blue mana. You're actually quite light. So something like neutralize is is not great. Um, but I think I would probably main deck some negate, so I would play some sensors. I, I think if I was really set on on having some counter magic main board. All right, so Jund Jundsack, Scooze, Gargaroth, Cry of the Carnarium. This is probably good enough as well, honestly. Kind of like cutting Karasis so I don't get claimed the first born quite as hard. That seems reasonable. Um. No, I guess this is probably not better than just having Mills Repulse and Cry, so sure, I'll leave, leave myself with Extinction Event, leave this in the board. Um, other than that, I kind of like removing a couple of Nisses. Lands get claimed. Uh, we're bringing in Gargaroth, so uh, seems fine. And I guess I'm cutting one of the two mana removal spells. Uh, who is better? I guess... I guess it's just eliminate. Got to mold that one, unfortunately. It's just not very good. This is a keep. Uh, I don't think you're ever really going to be holding up enough mana to make syncopate very good. Uh, most of the time, you you want. I, li I like Sensor for being able to turn it into an another card late game. It also just incidentally fuels Uro uh, by letting me cycle it as well. Um, but trying to hold up like 9, 10 mana in the late game for Syncopate is just not worthwhile. I don't, I don't think, anyway. I think I'm just putting the Grove Spiral back here. Opponent's hand is good.
Hmm. Gonna need some help here. Six was very reactive. Opponent's hand is very good at being proactive. It's definitely gonna need some help. Cast the Mayhem Devil shot. Another Heart Act is kind of interesting, but not ideal. We are looking for a threat here. Uh, Uroi would obviously be preferable. Because we are definitely putting cards in our graveyard at the second. Opponent would like to thought seize. Chooses to put you down through in hand. Plays out the blood artist short. Plays out on me. Uh, it's another really good one to have stuck in your hand. Definitely in danger here. Draw hasn't been massively cooperative. It's been super reactive. And uh, opponent's hand has just been super threat dense. Not going to be getting to Ugin in time, I don't think. Polis navigated this well, and my lack of experience in the matchup is definitely showing. Unfortunately, Gargaroth is no help because this priest that also came off the top of my opponent's deck is uh, going to keep it in check. And just kill me with the white strider. So that was that was very lopsided. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. That's not how you want that to be going. We're uh, out of losses to give, folks. So let's uh, let's stop losing, shall we? Losses are losses are overrated. Let's uh, let's stop doing that. For those folks who might not have checked out our giveaway yet, again, ending very, very soon. You definitely should. Details for that are in the chat right now. I do get to play again against four chain willers. That is not a keep. This probably is, I think. All right, goblins. Looking forward to trying this matchup out. Have not played it yet. Don't know enough about it. Looking forward to seeing how it plays. I'm gonna take the one here just so I can play around Snoop. Okay, at this point I'm just gonna pop this Sky Prospector. Keep my opponent off of early Mux Eye if we can. Oh, 
Oh, excuse me. Unsurprisingly, Four Chain Worlders is playing Goblins. Really, really should have had a good guess at that one, I'd have thought. I'd have kept the hand anyway, but uh, it's just kind of humorous. Matron. Right. Does find the Muxus. We do not find the land. I think I need to hit it pretty bad. No dice. We do get to block now, but uh, definitely in some trouble. Uh, another prospect it means we're getting muxed this turn. Let's hope our opponent has a shite mux eye. Because uh, we can't really beat a good one. Dun 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 deck. Alright, that's actually not awful. Um That might be beatable. Maybe. The problem is we kind of have to kill Snoop, but we also kind of need to kill Muxus. Alternatively, there is a haste goblin in my opponent's hand, and we're in some trouble. I think I'm taking 12. You are a bit late, Thoughtseize. You are a bit late. <sighs> Alright. Well, I have to kill Mux now, unfortunately. Kinda hope the Snoop bricks off, I guess. Um... I guess I'm supposed to thought these and leave myself. Oh, no, no, I might be dead anyway, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, so I can't thought these. Okay, well, can't, can't thought these, it kills us. Okay, alright, moving on. Oh, we've got plenty of tools for this one in the sideboard, but we, we definitely have been getting a bit kicked about in this this last set of games. Um, Grylicanarium, Witch's Vengeance, and Elder Gargaroth are all quite good. Uh, I'm unsure about Innocent Blood. I'm pretty sure I don't want it. Uh, I'm going to cut Crassus and Nissus, I think. Mostly. I want to be removal heavy. Innocent Blood seems like a bit of a trap, so I'm going to leave that one tucked away in the sideboard for now. Do you think this is a keep? Borderline, but I think it's good enough. Opponent does have the turn one prospector, which you never want to see. You never, never want to see that. I think I'm taking the snoop. That's the more dangerous one. Opponent draws a wily goblin for turn. This hand is terrifying though, it's not hard for this to go badly for us. It's really not hard. Set up a scan to start looking for things that handle the problem cards. We're going to be taking a big old hit here though. 
Take a six ball. I do not want Thoughtseize in this spot. I do want Cry of the Canarium. Yeet! Off you go. That's not bad. Snoop. Alright. Snoop's pretty good here. Well, less good when there's a mountain on top. Been this catacomb, I think. Heart of Sacked is actually exceptional here, right? So I just untap the triome. Opponent is never blocking anyway, so I won't worry about putting full control on. And then we'll pop Snoop. Good enough. All right, cool. Game three. Game number three. Let's go. Given that my opponent's taken a six already, I think I'm going to keep the double thoughts in his hand and hope that's good enough. No turn one is a pretty good sign. We are starting the game on 16, though. Oh. I understand. Oh, come on! You're not supposed to draw another one, you asshole! <laughs> Oh dear. Okay. So, opponent drawing a third land is extremely terrifying. In that world where they draw a third land, am I supposed to tap out for this Escanta? I'm going to say no, because I think in that world, I have to Heartless Act the Krenko when they play it, and then thought sees the other one. Prospect is pretty good. I think I have to kill that one. This is really, really kind of on the edge here. Could do with a couple of a good draw steps just to just kind of glue us together. Um. I don't care about this Trash Master really. The Trash Master's kind of whatever. And Thoughts using one Krenko seems kind of awful without an answer to the other one. I think I'll go for information. If I draw like a Heartless Act or something like that, I might very well Thoughts use here. That is not a Heartless Act. Okay. Instigator. Well, very glad that I killed that. Uh, that lovely Skirt Prospect and now, that's for sure. Three cards in the grave currently, can get myself to five. Okay. Let's go fetch a Black Source. Try and set ourselves up to bring back Uro next turn and uh, figure it out from there. Really just kind of want my opponent to keep not drawing lands. I'm just going to make this significantly easier. I do not want another Thought Seize, do I? Maybe I do. I actually think I might. Life total getting a bit owie. Oh, that one's never getting cast, hopefully.
Job done. All right. Four in two. Four and two. Taking down goblins there in a reasonable manner. I guess I should show the record on screen as well, right? I know I keep updating the stream title, but I, I've not been doing it on screen. So let me fix that real quick as well. Just, it's nice to have. Okay. On to the next one. This is indeed my first attempt, Dougie. Yeah. Unfortunately, at two two K gems a time, uh, I probably can't afford to do many attempts right now. Unfortunately, what do I think about the Black Mythic that was spoiled? The Scourge of the Skyclave. Sky uh, I looked at it briefly, um, not in massive detail, but a brief glance. I think it looks kind of kind of bad, to be honest. I don't want. I'd want to look at it again to make sure, but it, it didn't impress me at first. First glance. What do I put back here? No information about what my opponent's on. No, no companion. I think in that world, it's just Nyssa. It could be Euro, in fairness. It could be Euro. Okay. No, I'll, I'll buy. I'll put I'll put Uro back. Yeah, I wasn't impressed. Um, seems pretty easy to make an irrelevant card. Looks like the mirror. Uh, but but could be wrong. Growth spiral. Main phasing it. Sure. I'm gonna fetch a green source here myself. Opponent probably has a thought seize if they're doing this. Shock in a black source. And, uh, yeah, well, not shocking. The thought sees us anyway. Yeah, it seems good. It's the reason to main phase it. It is the reason to main phase it. Crassus is interesting. Opponent did take our, uh, our growth spiral to stop us accelerating. I'm going to go pick up a black source here. Land is good. Land is good. Opponent passing again. Um, if I make the assumption that the opponent is on a list similar to mine, they're not going to have counter magic. They're just going to have removal. And that makes me think I want to wait until there's a Nissa in play for this, this crisis. Yeah, well, the deck is very good. Um, opponent draws a Nissa of their own. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the deck is very clearly very, very good. Very powerful. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to keep seeing it uh, polluting the top tables for some time to come. Let's remove three cameras from this swamp to clear the way for our own Nissa. It's one of my favorite little interactions that makes me happy. I'm going to choose not to animate uh, Forest here just to kind of better ourselves against removal. Eliminate is a thing you can do. Really hoping to fade a thought seize here. Thought seize would be the real problem. Uh, I guess like uh, E to extinction or something, Salila would also be a pretty big issue. That's also uh, also a big issue, and it's in fact also a, a major problem. That is that is what you call a problem. Well, it's 
Is there any way we get out of this? Any sequence of draw steps I can imagine? I think the answer is no. So I'm going to show as little information as I can and move to game two. Pretty sure we can never beat that board. We're nowhere near our own Ugins. So. Okay, so the interesting thing for me, our last Saltai opponent brought in Elder Gargaroth against us. And I don't hate that in theory. It proved to be a bit of an issue for us to kill. So I think I'm going to try that out uh, this time around. I still think we want the, the old negate Narset package scavenging ooze, but I want to try these Gargaroths. Um, and I think we established that uh, Eliminate was better than Heartless Act. We don't want Extinction Event. Now the problem comes to finding space for these, and I guess it's a case of you're just trimming on Nissas. She is widely contested, the lands do get killed. I don't want to cut them all, but I can see myself cutting a few. I do want to try these Gargaroths out. It's a good chance they're wrong. But uh, based on how hard it was for us to handle it when our opponent cast it last time, I kind of want to try it out. Leyline Tyrant does look super sweet. I'm a big fan of that card. Looks looks very cool. Looks like a lot of fun. We'll definitely be brewing around it during the early access event in uh, in like two weeks. Assuming we get that luxury, of course. I will play first. This hand is good. I will keep. Good chance I thought he's on one. It's often tempting to wait, but I don't think this hand lets us wait. Opponent takes a six. Take their thought sees. Leave us with a Hydro Crisis. Cool. Good to know about the extension event as well, makes it significantly easier to play around. Surprised the opponent left those in, to be honest. And if they are leaving an extinction event, we might want to be taking these Gargaroths back out in game three. Opponent draws the Thoughtseize anyway, takes the Hydroid Crisis. We draw an Ugin. His opponent does have plenty of lands, so if we miss here, we are going to be in a bit of a sticky wicket. Thankfully, we don't. Just a four in the bin. Fable Passage is five, so... Land into Pulse Uro is a realistic pro uh, prospect. Uh, Narset's pretty good. This might earn a pulse. Might be good enough. Depends what my opponent finds. They find a gate. Sure. That is actually kind of problematic. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is just pulse a row, I think. It's too too good to pass up. Opponent does get to extinction event, and hopefully that opens the door for us to slam this Ugin. Because the Euro either draws us gas or draws us a land. Opponent should have to tap out of negate to clear up the Euro, leaving us with an, an Ugin we can resolve. Hopefully. Or other gas, should we draw gas instead. That is actually one of the worst draws in our deck. That was 
was not one that we wanted to see there. I guess I can clear the negate out of the way this way, but it's still not, not ideal. That's also not ideal. But opponent is at least two lands away from it. These mirror matches are sick, like legitimately sick. There's a lot of skill, but there's also a lot of a lot of high variance top decks, for sure. Opponents pulling their way towards their own Ugin. They want a minus two. That's fine by me. So we'll cast the search. Uh, I'm going to spiral main phase here because I could find a thought seize. I do not. I'm going to decline. Try and hide info. Ugin fight indeed. Opponent is almost certainly going to slam theirs if they can. Oh, they missed the land. Okay. All right. If that's the case, opponent brought in, well, left in extinction events. So I'm going to take these Gargaros back out. Uh, and I think if that's the case, I want to do this. All right. Game numero tray. Seems like an aggressive concession from my opponent, to be honest. As much as I was happy about it. They can always peel another land and Ugin away the stuff I flip into play with Ugin's ultimate, so... Seemed, seemed aggressive. I hate keeping these hands, man. But against the Thoughtseize mirrors, you just have to. You can't be mulling to six and, and getting worse than this. So I'm pretty sure you've got to keep this. Except that your hand might get ranched and just hope the top of the deck is kind to you. Feels like any other Thoughtseize mirror. Eliminates are not my best draws. Did not really want to see those. Opponent didn't have an untapped black source on turn one. Uh, I think I am just taking this Hydrid Crisis. They're going to spiral into Thoughtseize. The Thoughtseize will take an Eliminate. And we're both basically in the same spot. Except for the fact my opponent will be slightly ahead on lands in play. They choose not to. And we draw a search for a Scanther. Which I will take. That one seems pretty good. Been very impressed by this by the way. Um... It's not a card I see in all the Saltai lists, but this one-off search has been ace today. Been, been, been very impressed by it. Would recommend trying one out if you haven't already. Opponent choosing to not spiral into Thoughtseize there was interesting. Seemed like a pretty obvious play to me. But maybe I'm wrong. Spiral's main phase this time. They can eliminate, that's fine. Uh, keeping this, I think, even though it's a little soft to my opponent having a Nissa. Unsure how much I can beat a Nissa anyway. The old draw go. Sweet. Another eliminate is not ideal. Love to find a thought seize here. Opponent has an eliminate for the Narset, seems fine. To a spiral. Uh, gonna keep this. Pretty happy to keep this. Pretty, pretty universal answer to things that could be problems. Opponent appears to be flooding out slightly. Got to find some pressure to close this thing out before they draw spells. Uh, how many cards am I on in my bin currently? Six. I'd rather just flip the Escanta. It's a fantastic draw. I think, think that's fine. We, we have eliminates. Our opponent knows we have eliminates. We'll do this in response. Uh, 
Find Zanissa, sure. Cast Zanissa, I would like you to not have that, please. Thanks. Um, four mana, so I would have four left over, so there's, is this, is this two lands? It is two lands. So I can't Nissa if I find it, so there's no point. Main phase in the Siskanta should just pass. Opponent Crassus for six. It's pretty good. Does find them some spells. Thankfully, we get to answer it fairly cleanly in play and also a scanter this turn. But uh, that was a good one for the opponent. Oh, that's kind of kind of a rougher scanter. I think I want the negate though. Rewarded. Not rewarded. The swings and roundabouts of playing Sultan midrange. Opponent also brought in their scoos. Seems good. Uh, that might earn a pulse, honestly, but it does resolve for now. Probably going to eat a fair bit of the graveyard on its way out. Scanter. Growth Spiral. This is a big one. This is a big one. Let's get some information. Let's get more information. Opponent negates the Thought Seas. So if I. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Nissa would have to negate on the tap and I wouldn't be able to pulse. But if I negate this, I should be able to Nissa pulse, assuming my opponent's last card in hand is an Ugin with fine. But negating this means I'm really soft to Ugin. And that feels like how I lose this game. So I think I let that go. Cast this Nissa and see what happens. Resolves, it's pretty sick. All right. Untap this. Uh, so I gotta I got put a stop somewhere here, right? Stop at combat, because I wanna go to combat. Go to attackers. Oh no, wait, no I don't. Is there any creatures in the graveyard? There's like plenty, right? One, two, yeah, okay, we're not, we're not attacking. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I need to go. Hey, McFreet, thank you very much for the follow, my dude. Glad you're enjoying your stay so far. Thanks for saying hello. One, two, three. Pulse this. Eat to extinction, armor gate. Don't draw an Ugin, you disgusting human being. Don't do it. And I think that's why I don't like Ugin being in this format. It's nice to have it as a catch-up mechanic, but... Uh, when you navigate a game like this and you play it well, uh, you just feel like you get punked out by the card. So, and this is a reasonable one for my opponent here. It gets the Narsa off the table, if that's what they care about. Okay. Another Nissa. Okay, I think I'm not activating a Scanter as the, the creature land if that's the case. Yeah, that works. Make sure it taps this. Gonna decline this time. Don't need to put the land into play. This game certainly isn't over. There's a lot of good draws for both players. 
That one's not bad. Does does prevent my Nissa from uh, being quite as safe. This is getting kind of annoying. Probably, probably good enough. Two, four, six, seven, eight, yeah. Whoa. Love it. All right, five and two. Let's, let's keep going. Let's get this updated in all the places that it needs to get updated. And keep rallying this one home. I want my prizes. Right. Updated, let's go. In the money, indeed. It's always nice. It means we can potentially go again, maybe maybe Tuesday. If it, well, it won't be on, uh, on Tuesday, but we might be able to fire off another event of some sort on Tuesday. However, I don't feel like losing. So I'm not gonna give prizes, please. Dichi Zinni. Lurus of the Dream Den. So this is Auras or Pyromancer, and I think this hand is fine against both. Obviously, I prefer Untap Black, but you can't have it all. Oh, that was bad. That was I, I drew this round catacomb to get me out of it. Um, well, I didn't not to get me out of it, but I sh I should have uh, played the forest there. If I forest into island, I can growth spiral into thoughtseize, which I I now can't do. All right, lesson learned. That was silly. Did not need to lead on catacomb there. Just lead on the forest. So it is pyromancer or sacrifice. Okay. I can't, right? The the other black land would have been tapped. I can't get the island and the catacomb into play at the same time. Ah, so it is it is pyromancer. Yeah, Catacomb was the issue there. And I, I could have fixed it. I'd have to play my land in a better order. It's okay. Don't, don't apologize. I missed it when I played my land in the first place. This is kind of whack. Um, obviously, this claim and this innocent blood are actually kind of problematic to my Nissa. But... But I think I'm supposed to... I think I'm supposed to take one of them, and I think it's the claim. And I'm just going to pulse this, this dead, and then I intend on cleaning up the Pyromancer. Not the Pyromancer, the uh, Arcanist. Finds a pyromancer, that's pretty good. The priest is better. Okay. Well, kind of glad that I took the claim now, honestly. Stitches is really good here. It's a pretty exceptional Stitches supplier. Just let the top card of my library be Hydroid Crisis. Go on. Just 
it's probably fine. Opponent goes with activating the priest. It's fine. Puts Luris in their hand, attacks Nissa for four. Crisis. Crisis? That's not a crisis. I just want to shore up my board here, honestly. I'm very low on resources, however. Well, it's got their engine online here to, to keep uh, filling the graveyard up. Won't be long until we're staring down some real problems. Innocent blood. Whew. That Croxer is bad news. It's gonna need to be like a Crassus or something. That is not a Crassus. Take game two, I guess. Goose, Gargaroth, Cry, Witch's Vengeance. I think is how I want this. Shave on this is. Shave in a row. I think Maelstrom Pulse is actually kind of poor in this matchup. Let's try it like this. See how this feels. That's not stellar, but my opponent is a thought to these deck. We really can't afford to mulligan too much. Is there a chance I cycle this? There is, in fact, a chance. So we'll lead on breeding pool. Looks like a thought sees to me. Ding. Does not care in the slightest about the eliminate, which is a little concerning. Well, that's a pretty easy, easy decision. Not that my opponent wasn't completely aware of that interaction because they definitely were. Uh, I'm gonna play this land untapped here so that I have the ability to cycle if I want to. If uh, my opponent does not make me eliminate, Dreadhold Arcanist, probably the threat they were more worried about keeping alive. I'm going to cycle here and then probably untap and eliminate. Get to Uro as well, which is nice.
Planet Maya, Village Rides here. Village Rides would be a very good one, but it's still very much correct for me to do this. Does indeed have Village Rides. So we are bringing back a new row next turn, which is, is fine. I'm a little worried about it getting claimed. Crocs is not bad. Do I want this land or the Uro? I think I want the land. Better to hold off on a row. I mean, how are we winning this game if we're doing that? Heartless Act is a pretty good reward for holding onto the land here. Better to hold on Eliminate on the Dreadhorde Arcanist? Why? What's, what's the thought process? Like, if I wait, he just attacks with the Arcanist, flashes back the Thoughtseize, and, uh, and takes it away, right? It's not bad. Just before attacks? Yeah, I guess that's something I could do. Valid point, I suppose. Innocent Blood is surprisingly effective against me. I hate it. Yeah, it's a, it's a valid point, though, Aim Conquest. Valid point. Definitely should have considered that a bit. This is getting sticky, because I'm going to have to chuck this Ugin away to Croxer here. And then I need to draw well or draw cards and put cards in my bin pretty pretty quick. Pernal has a cling to dust as well, so realistically what there's another crocs are coming. Jesus Christ. Alright, this is this is feeling a bit sticky. We might be dying on this hill, unfortunately. I don't have enough experience playing this matchup, and uh, I would like to get some more, which I'm, I'm going to do, I'm almost certainly going to do, but it's showing, definitely showing. There's the Croxo. And the problem is, again, my opponent could bring this back again. That, however, is a stellar draw. That is pretty damn good. But we are staring it down again in a minute. Put this into play. Rather not lose it to my opponent's Croxer, which they're way more likely to do than, than thoughts is. It's terrifying how often they can bring this thing back. But this this is just a top deck war now. And my opponent's the one with Alurus in the tank, with a Dragon Master Outcast in the bin. I think I'm blocking this. I think I'm definitely attacking. Full control. Full control, please. Uh that's not bad. Is not bad. Going 
goes with Lurus, casting the Dragon Master Outcast, I assume. Yeah. Cycle. I am, uh, I am drawing well. I, I panicked. I pressed that key pretty hard. Judge me if you wish. Guess that means I'm staring down Croxer again, right? This has been cast like six times this game. Not sure why my opponent thought sees me. You're getting rid of the card anyway, right? I suppose if you're worried about like disdainful stroke. Well, I can't, well not disdainful stroke, uh, like essence scatter or insert generic counter spell. The Ugin that was left in my deck is gone, I think, unfortunately. Yeah. So really, like, the best draw here is just going to be Krasis, like, every time. That is not awful. No, that's not great. It's not great. I don't achieve anything by chucking the land away. Alright, well, this attack's pretty easy. Pretty, pretty obvious. You can double block if you want. I guess Nissa does survive, so she's worth playing out here. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> How is that last card cling to dust? Duh! Oh no! Oh no! <sighs> Oof. Well, that's on me. That's completely on me. That was completely avoidable. Slow down, slow down, and just cast this first. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be attacking now. Claims back Croxa. Okay. That's okay. We can live with that. Did you did you not read this card? Sick. Deal. So attacking all out here means that my opponent doesn't have to 
doesn't have to block. Well, they do have to block, but they don't have to block badly. This goes here, this goes here, they take three. Fame's a dragon, yarp. Which is vengeance? This is close. There's a chance I'm supposed to just kill off this this outcast. <laughs> what a game. Opponent lets the outcast die. One to right so I think I wait on this if my opponent draws exactly another thought sees I get super punished but there's not a lot of those left Angrath Rampage sure Whoa, okay game three Game three, what a game. That cling to dust made me sugar everywhere. What a game that was. Right, okay. Does my opinion change or anything based on what I saw? Nissa actually felt actively kind of awful for the most of that game. Um, I'm pretty sure I want the second Ugin back. How do I feel about mails from Pulse? It just doesn't kill anything that everything else doesn't anyway. Yeah, that was a, a sick, sick game. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Thoroughly enjoyed that. I think I'm going like this. Poor. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, again, opponent is a thought seize deck. There's not a lot of lands and spells hands we're going to mulligan, and this is not one of them. Again, thought seized. I'm really glad this card's in the format yet. Visible sweating is accurate. Yeah, definitely. Definitely fair. Croxer. I think I'm happy to discard a land here, honestly. Hmm. Another Croxer. That one might be wrong. That was that was a little greedy. Opponent missed their land drop, however. Young Pizze. It's 
spend a little time setting up. Hope this Crassus survives another another turn without getting discarded. Hopefully I don't get too punished for discarding that Heartless Act. As I say, it was, was, was pretty greedy. Cling. Cling's the Heartless Act. Okay. Near to draw the card, finds their land. Arcanist. Right. The problem is with keeping Ugin is that it gets thought seized away. That being said, it might be worth guaranteeing it's the thing that gets thought seized. Duresses me first. Nice. Takes the Ugin. Priest of the Forgotten Gods is a good one. Like to flashback, cling to dust. Yep. Gets rid of the Uro. I'll eat this. That is not bad. That is reasonable. If I duress you, you get to bring back Croxer if you have a land. I think that is fine. Yeah, that was that was a sick, sick find. Product did find the land, unfortunately. I will keep this. Search for a scanter is the nuts. If anyone tells you otherwise, they are a liar. That is fine. I will keep this. I will transform. Ugh. Dress isn't bad. I don't have so much discard after sideboard. Ugh. That's not good. That's a pretty big miss. Goes with Lurus. Needs to be dead. Can't really afford to wait. Has the village rights. That's pretty good. This match, man, Jesus. 
All right. Yeah, Crocs are... You got it. How, how could I be so heartless? Roughly like this. Roughly. Um... I kind of want to exile this, so I'm going to hold the Heartless Act, bin off this. I'm going to shuffle my deck, a lot of my goodies are at the bottom. Even. Where did I get this deck list? Uh, I grabbed it from the MTG Arena Zone Historic Open. If you want to just have the deck list and that's what you're worried about, you can find it on my on my stream decker. Link is for you in the chat. But it comes from a gentleman named Christopher Alvaro from MTG Arena Zone's Open Tournament Series yesterday evening. Double Arcanist. Oh, that's a bit... A bit annoying. Let's look for an extinction event or similar. This Escanter has been like the best card in my deck. I think I've got to stop the village rights being a thing, right? Come on, give me an Uro. Just give me an Uro. Don't mill a Croxa. Don't do it. Cling to Dust is pretty good, in fairness. Yeah. That's a good one. Clings the Ugin. Yes. Come on. Brickity McBrickerson. Kill you. Oh. oh yeah. Six and two. Let's keep this going. I want I want my forty boosters. Give me my forty boosters. Nice, nice, nice. I get an extra activation out of it though, by doing it that turn. I'm killing my opponent in two anyway. If they draw a removal spell for the Escanter, they still die. So I think it's fine. Right. Come on. Let's take round seven. Well, round nine. Math is hard. Win seven. Y'all know what I meant. Lurus of the Dream, then again. So again, Auras or Pyromancer. And against both of those matchups, Extinction Event is the nuts, and I have two cycle lands. So I'm keeping. Witch's Oven. That makes this less good. Uh, Grove Spiral is sick. What a draw. Oh, 
Whoa, that's a problem. Uh, that's that's an aggressively slanted card. All right. Not a massive problem, but still possibly an issue if we're not careful. Going to have to take another hit from it and take three damage from it on the way out, at the very least. Fanatical Firebrand, what is this list? Who's playing this? Cauldron Familiar. Sure. Okay. Taking a turn to pulse the oven is just like not something I can do, right? This, this guy needs to go. The question is if I'm supposed to pulse him or pulse the oven, and I think I'm meant to pulse the oven, so I have to burn this extinction event. The old one for one sweeper feels good, man. Didn't sack cat end of turn. Okay. Priest. Okay, I think I can take a turn off now. Cycle away this fated pool, see where we stand at the end of our opponent's turn when it comes to our next play. You may attack. Obviously love to find a row here, but you always love to find a row. Just all the time, without fail. Alright, this makes this interesting. Eliminate's a good one. That is a good one. So I'm going to fire this off. I'm going to see how my opponent responds to me firing off before I decide what I'm picking. They don't, which means I'm definitely picking odd. Opponent cast. The Lurus. You've got it. If you recast Oven, I will eliminate this, uh, eliminate this Lurus. Get off the table. I cast Cold and Familiar instead. Yeah, I'd like this to be dead, please. Alright, we've, we've started to stabilise. My opponent's running out of things. I just need to find a way of gaining life and cleaning up the mess. Might be good enough. No reason to main face the second one. Nothing we can draw that matters. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Might not be good enough now. Might not be good enough. Bogs me. Nice.
don't have a lot of time to find the new rogue here, but we really need to gain some life. Like, desperately. Or we're going to get ovened out. Stitch a supplier. Quite has Kaya's ghost form in their deck. Okay. Interesting. That doesn't much help, fortunately. Guess my best style is opponent gets greedy. Okay. Don't have a creature. Don't have a creature. That is the game we're playing. Okay. I need an Uro two hours ago. That is good enough, right? Ping, ping. I guess I'm not dead yet. Oh no, I am right, he attacks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Losing game one there is kind of unfortunate. Feels like it slipped away from under our hands. Uh, that being said, Cry, Gargaroth, Skoos, and probably Witch's Vengeance. What did we see? Stitcher Suppliers, Lurus, Dreadhorde Butcher, Fnac, but there's actually not that many crossover creature types, so maybe this stays out. Uh, I like Shaving Nissa here, and I like... Where are you? I think it's Maelstrom Pulse we were cutting. Seems correct. Let's do that. Pulse is just like the worst of your removal effects. When you're bringing in so many sweepers, you want a custom spot removal. And it's the most expensive and clunky one. So I think it's the one that goes. I will play first. Hand is fine. We'll keep. Um, I think there's a good chance I start on 16 here, even though it means I probably can't do everything I want to in the order that I want to. Wow. Opponent's list is super old school. Real old school list. Footlight Fiends and Fanatical Firebrands and all kinds of stuff. Extinction Event's a pretty good one. Gonna get a blue source here. That makes it interesting. I think I actually prefer not playing a row here and playing a tap land. Setting myself up to tag team one of the two mana removal spells into Extinction Event and try and clear a board, assuming there's only one egregious outlier. Uh, so if opponent casts... Oh, okay. That is interesting. If that's the case, we're supposed to do...
this. Hope my opponent doesn't have their third land. Doesn't look like it. Another butcher. That's a punish for using the eliminate. Definitely a punish for using the eliminate. Not played against this card in a while. Finds land three. Thing is, I can't Uro here. I know about the claim. Oh, that sucks so bad. What am I supposed to be playing to? I gotta play to the Ugin, right? I just have to. It's a chance that this runs away with the game, but I don't think, don't think I can hold. Hold anything but this. No, that's a mistake. I think I'm meant to pitch the Ugin. And the plan has to be to bring back Uro to gain life and draw cards, have my opponent try and claim it, and then kill my own Uro. I think that might have been a mistake. Right, 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 right. What do we do here? Three cards. I think that line's correct now that I've drawn an eliminate. I think I meant to do it. Fine land seven. Kill my own row. Find land eight. Clear the board. Alternatively, I eliminate. Don't give this a target. Okay. I'll make the more conventional play. I guess I want to try and find like a thought sees. As painful as it is. Well, this is the thing, right? If I if I Uro here and my opponent doesn't have a sack outlet, I'm actually in good shape. I can take a hit. I just need him to have no way of getting rid of it. Pretty good. That is also pretty good. Oh, man. I think I make my opponent trade off the Cold Rebellion first. What's they gonna do? They don't do. Gotta kill this priest then, don't I?
opponent has another priest. That's not good. I would like to find an answer to that. This attack is fine. Gives the priest haste. It's going to do it the uh, the old-fashioned way and not get greedy. And I like that, to be honest. I think if my opponent gets greedy here and tries to wait, they could be in some danger. So I like that. I think that's good. Uh, i got three cards in the bin right now, though, so I think I can get this back again next turn. Thoughtseize is a bit of a weird draw right now, actually. Not entirely sure that's helpful. So Goth Triome... Five cards, so spiral, six cards. Playable passage makes it even better. I got a thought seize this Lurus away, so I'm I'm gonna do it before before I bring back the Euro. What? Oh, I only have two blue sources. Oh, okay. That was silly. That was very silly. I think that might have just cost me this game. So dumb. <sighs> okay. Love to draw a piece of removal off of this. Would love that. Does that count? I think that counts. Brand. Okay. Butcher. Yeah. Well, it just dumps their hand out, sure. Okay. Oh, baby. Cry of the Canarium, you and me are going to get on just fine. Just fine. Alright, don't bring back this damn Croxer. Don't do it. Noxious Grass is pretty good, actually. But uh, I guess that's acceptable. This is all in the graveyard, so Gargaroth, go. That was a damn nice top deck cry. I completely agree with you. Whoa. This is so ridiculous. Honestly... These games have been fantastic tonight. Like basically every single match I've played in this historic challenge has been gas. I've had a lot of fun, an awful lot of fun. Cycling this always. Wow, that's not bad. That is not bad. We'll present Lethal. Off you go. Game three. Oh, 
Ok. Let's go. I want this 7 and 2 and then the 8 and 2 so bad. Come on. Come on. <laughs> that hand is fun. Them top decks, yeah, definitely. Definitely drawing like an absolute champ. I don't think you can keep this, unfortunately. Just has too high a chance of not being able to play magic. <sighs> fine. 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 I keep. That's a good one. Priest is mildly annoying here, but not not cripplingly so. I think I want a black source. That is the punish for doing that. Scoo seems like a surefire way to get myself kicked in the ass, so I think I would rather do this. Oh, that's pretty good. Opponent's hand is pretty good. So how does this play out? They shock themselves, play both their creatures out. I need to find land four for extinction event. And then the call of the death dwellers does nothing. Alternatively, I take dread hall. I take footlight fiend. No, I just have to take this. I just have to take the call of the death dwellers. That leaves their priest activation up. Yup. Love for my opponent to cast another even creature here. That'd be Stella. No, they're just putting the, the Loris in their hand. Which is... Fine. This is a land. I, I'm going to get really hurt here. <sighs> okay. So, what are my options? I don't see myself being able to do anything other than an extinction event here, unfortunately. My opponent does shoot me for a gajillion damage, and if they have a land, they lure us back the Butcher, which is terrifying. That being said, I think it is my only option. And I have to hope that I have a land, so I have to turn to Scavenging Uzi away. But this is going to hurt. This is a lot of damage. Opponent sacks off the Footlight Fiend in response, which I will take. That's it's gonna be gonna be free. Don't have a land in those three cards, I guess. It's kind of what I'm hoping for. That is unfortunate. Four cards in the grave. Scooze, unfortunately, isn't a blocker because it gets Noxious Grasped. 
So I think I lead on Spiral in case I draw Cry of the Canarium. It's not Cry. Five cards in the bin. Guess I forced the issue, right? It means Uro stays alive, because he has to kill this. Oh man. Hello Mr. Mouché, we're doing okay. We're in the historic challenge right now. We're currently six and two playing game three for our seventh win. How are you? Man, that is a good last card to be in your hand. That is a very, very good last card. Gonna need some help. That counts. Good beats. Good beats. Couldn't beat claim the first one, wasn't going to try. Nicely played by the opponent. And that is unfortunately us falling to 6-3. and three, Which will eliminate us from that historic challenge. Good run, honestly. Good run. Thank you very much, Dougie. I appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoyed your stay. We'll pick up ourselves 12 packs, car back, 8k gold. Not bad for a day's work. Too late, too late indeed, but I, I do appreciate uh, do appreciate the effort. Thank you, thank you guys, appreciate the kind words. Super, super sweet of you. So unfortunately, that is going to be us for today, but uh, you lovely folks that have stopped by to support us, thank you very much, hope you enjoyed the run. Uh, well, you, want, you want me to crack the packs? Okay, we can crack the packs. I can crack the packs before I go, that is more than fine. Um, but it was, it was a good run. Um, yeah, uh, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. And thank you very much for uh, all the follows and stuff during the stream. If you haven't done so already, please do consider doing that. It does help us grow as a channel over here. Of course, if you want to enter our giveaway, there's a little time left to do that. Seal box of mystery boosters being given away for free on this channel. Go check it out. Details are in the chat for you now. Uh, I'm going to run my little game that I always like to play here. Uh, to, uh, just to end the night. If you want to take some guesses, folks... You can. I'm going to open up all 12 of these packs. You can guess what rares I am going to open. You get one guess. It stands for all 12 packs. If you guess it correctly, you are a channel VIP. You'll be gifted a VIP badge over here at Howling Minds. All the bragging rights you want. So you've got about 30 seconds to get any guesses in. If you want to take a stab at what we're going to open to finish off the night after that run. Before I send you all off to go and support somebody else uh, with some fantastic content. Uh, yes, more than one person can be VIP, that's correct. So we've got Kefnet, we've got Hazaret. Any more for any more. Anyone else want to take a guess at vip -dom. Glory Bringer from Dougie. No, you can't have multiple, I'm afraid, Takus. Right, so we've got Kefnet, Hazaret, Glory Bringer. You were the first, that is correct. That is correct. Any more for any more before they get cracked. Five, four, three, two, one. God Pharaoh's gift will count. Good luck, folks. Right, uh, no, no hits, no hits for anybody so far. Fed pulls, imminent doom, loads, loads of garbage in ten, in ten packs. No hits. We've got two left. Two left to see if anyone else secures themselves a VIP badge. Serpapod and Ronus the Indomitables. That is a big fat no. Better luck next time. <laughs> 